AI image generators make weird and interesting maps. These two are meant to show world forest cover. Both have wonderful titles. I love the colors and textural patterns on the left one, and the one on the right has these terrific tree sketches over ocean areas. At first, I thought green would represent forest, but some major forest areas are missed and there's a lot of green at very high latitudes, so I'm not sure about that. Here's another two for forest cover. The one on the left was supposed to be for North America, but the AI just did the US along with maybe the Hawaiian Islands and two different Alaskas. Only partially correct mapping of forests in the US. Perhaps the most interesting is how it did the sketching and fill patterns for US states. The right map is for Australia. Here, if green is meant to be forests, it's mostly the reverse of what it should be and the mapping of surrounding land masses is quite interesting. There's some great additional text on both maps and a really nice looking legend on the left one. These two maps show world and North American deserts. The world map uses a great symbology for deserts and it looks like almost all lands are deserts. My favorite thing on the world map are the beautiful compass and how awesome the AI made Antarctica look. The North American map on the right appears to show a big central desert area, perhaps. Mostly I like how much it distorted the continent, with most of Canada cut off. Now we have United States snow and ice cover. On the left, it looks like every state has some snow cover, most commonly in the middle of each state. On the right, I assume blue is ice cover. It's interesting that the south and the southwest is where all the ice is. Above the Great Lakes, I like the inclusion of a highly warped version of the continent. For continental ice sheets in North America, I got these maps. The one on the left has a Canada that looks to be ice-free above some latitude and no Mexico, whereas the one on the right has no Canada, a shrunken Mexico, and a very patriotic American ice sheet. Here we have North American mountains left and North American rivers right. The bias against Canada and Mexico continues. I don't understand the color schemes, and I don't think either shows what they're supposed to in any geographically correct way, although both maps look nice. Interesting how U.S. state borders are drawn so differently between the two maps, one with overly distorted boundaries and the other with overly straight boundaries. Next are North American hurricane and tornado tracks. Wonderful counterclockwise spirals on these, and yeah, it's just more good, interesting AI mapping. The last pair I have is for world and North American volcanoes. These two are my overall favorites. Starting on the left for world volcanoes, it's beautifully colored, it has this visually stunning legend, and look how it's fused together the Americas with Asia. Looks like there's some massive mountains, or I guess massive volcanoes on this crazy supercontinent that the AI's created. As for the map on the right, not sure how it relates to volcanics, but I'm impressed with how it's modified North American geography surrounding the US. Looks like Canada is there, but it's squished off to the east. Other than the Baja Peninsula, it looks like Mexico is gone. And I think that South America now connects up to Florida. So a lot of really strange, interesting ideas from the AI here. See video text for methods. Thanks for watching.